Hello, this is Rob here from robcubbon.com and I'm going to show you one of the most important things I can show you on video and that is how to set up your own website. And it's very easy, there's no need to get intimidated by anything in the process. We're going to do it in five minutes and let's get going. So I'm going to do this for my client at the moment, Nura Nash, who has bought her domain name and has set up hosting. She has bought her domain name from GoDaddy and if you want to use my affiliate link and I will get a commission if you make a purchase through this link then it's at robcubbon.com forward slash go forward slash daddy. So if you type that in then that will take you to GoDaddy. So what you can do at GoDaddy is search for something and GoDaddy will tell you if that's available or not. Too bad. And if it is available, of course you can buy it and it'll be about $9 a year. The second thing you need is hosting. Please, whatever you do, don't get hosting with GoDaddy because their hosting sucks. I would suggest, if you're in the UK, a company called VidaHost. If you're in the US, I would use WP Engine or maybe Bluehost or FastHost or JustHost. One of those, but, but make sure it's hosting that's compatible with WordPress and it's best if you can get hosting with cPanel. I'll show you cPanel later. But in the UK, as I say, I would recommend VidaHost. And again, if you want to make a purchase through my affiliate link, that would be great. But if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine as well. Just go for VidaHost.com. Choose the package you're most comfortable with. You can start with one here at the UK, which is for as little as £3 a month or $5 a month. So you bought your domain name and your hosting. Next step is to connect the two of them up. So you go back to your domain name registrar and here we'll just manage my domains and here you can see DNS manager and let's click on one of them and here you see my name servers these are what you need to enter and you will get these from your host so if you have just host or bluehost they will be similar name servers so ns1.bluehost.com ns1.justhost.com but wait till you get your email from your host and they will be in there on the welcoming email. Also, you can put them in lowercase as well as uppercase. They just happen to be uppercase here. And if you wanted to change them, you just click on Manage, and here you click on Edit Name Service. But this interface will be different. GoDaddy changes it every six months, and it will be different depending on the domain name registrar you use. But I'm going to create a website for Nura. Nura has purchased her domain from GoDaddy, and she's also purchased her hosting from VidaHost. And of course, we've put the VidaHost name servers in her account on GoDaddy. So she's all ready to start. And she has received her welcome email, which of course gives her the name servers and gives her the username and password for the cPanel and the FTP. So let's go into the cPanel and here it is. This is the cPanel and this is used by some hosting companies but not by all of them. And there's a lot you can do here. You can set up your email, which is very easy. But right down here at the bottom, under Soft Delicious Apps Installer, you might have an app installer called Fantastico. We can install WordPress, and that's what we want to do. This is how you set up a website. You need to set up WordPress. So we'll click on WordPress, and we'll click on Install. So here, choose Protocol. Keep that as it is. Choose domain, keep that as his. Don't put it in the directory because we want it on the root of the site. Database name, you might want to put a few numbers or figures after that. Table prefix, let's put a few numbers and letters after that. If you leave it at WP, there's a small security hazard, but you don't have to worry about that. Site settings, don't worry about these because you can change them later. Obviously, my blog is not a good name for your site, but we'll be sorting that out later with the client, so there's no need to worry about that. Admin account, certainly you shouldn't keep the admin username. You should change that somehow. We'll call it Dog Cherry or something like that, but pick a good password with letters and numbers and for the admin email, I'm going to put my email address in. So really basic install there. Don't worry about too much. 
But the important things to remember are to keep those two the same. You don't need to put it in a directory. The other thing to remember is to create a strong password and a different username from admin. And don't worry, we can change these later. So let's click install. And that's it. That took a few seconds. So this is all we saw before. And now I'm going to click refresh. And there is Nura's blog. And in order to go into the back end, you can actually command click on login here. Or you can just go to the website's name and go forward slash WP hyphen admin. And that will take you to the login screen as well. Then you need to enter your username and password password that you set up in the installation process. And there you are. This is where you add your pages. This is where you add your post for the blog. And you can create menus, widgets, add plugins, add themes, all sorts of exciting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.